<laughs> All right, so we're back, and uh, we have a new um, segment that we're going to be doing here every once in a while. It is uh, we're going to be doing some anime tier lists today. We're going to be starting with some shonen ones. I did not know. <laughs> I did not notice till just now that the lowest tiers, the second lowest <laughs> tier is butt cheeks, <laughs> and the, the the lowest tier is the literal shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's start with what we know is going to be in literal shit. Um, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find Boruto. Yeah, where is that? <laughs> I know that was on there. Found it. And How did I know that you were going to do that? Literal shit. Point. First thing. <laughs> cool. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, Wait. we can actually start. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome back to the Anime Alchemist Podcast. My name is Gary. I'm Emery. With us episode like, oh, 42. 42, the answer to life, love, and everything in the universe. Like always, we are joined with our lovely co-host. What up? Mr. Editor Son, a.k.a. Da D. <laughs> da D. Da D. Some of you may know him as Martin. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I believe it's mm, March 9th. Yeah, happy, happy April night. Happy, happy early April, birthday. April night. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, happy New early birthday, birthday to Gary. Birthday's on Monday. Look at these amazing gifts. Yes. Yes. We can't say you know what uh, you know who today. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, no problem, bud. <laughs> Yeah, Pablo saw that and he's like, oh, I'm getting him this. Like, no question. He didn't, he didn't even ask me. He's like, oh, do you think he'd like it? He's like, yeah, no, I'm getting him this. For, for, those, boy, listening, man. for those listening, it is a Funko uh, figure of Usopp and a Funko, or like a bigger Funko figure of, I always mispronounced the name. Lord Shomaru. Yeah, Lord Shomaru in but, his but, demon but, form. Yes. form. Yes, it's badass. Mm-hmm. So cool. Watch, watch the YouTube so you can see it. Now that we've started on this nice, cheery, you know, part, let's just get mad aggressive right away. <laughs> okay. And let's so, end all debates right now. Okay. All right. Wait, so we're doing this right yeah, now? Yeah, we're doing this right now. Okay. okay. I've been waiting for this. Dragon Ball and Sailor Moon are not meant to be, like, compared to anything through power scaling. That's why Madoka Magica isn't. She's so powerful. Nobody scales anything to her. Nope. Why do they do it with Goku? Why do they do it with Vegeta? I don't know. It's dumb. It's so stupid. Like, I... and, and, and like, this thing, everybody who thinks Saitama could beat Goku, oh my God. so could Orale. Yeah. He's a gag <laughs> character. It doesn't count. I mean, when you put it that way, you're not wrong. Yeah, actually. yeah, no. yeah. No, he's a he's a gag character. They even it's made a, a whole ass episode it's a about comedy. it. Mm-hmm. Remember that episode in Super when they brought back Rai yeah. and like she was actually like clapping everyone. Yeah, that was so funny. She's a gag character. That's just how it works. Yeah. The scary thing is they really play or like one thing I got out of it that was terrifying was that they were like Lord Beers can delete anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and straight up delete. Like, yeah. That's, that's the best word you could use. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah, no. Dragon Dragon Ball Z was not meant to be scaled against anything. It's in its own realm of power. It really is. Like, yeah, okay, scale Naruto against One Piece and against Bleach. Cool, like, there's similar feats Yeah. in yeah. those animes. My Hero too. like... There's there's similar feats in a lot of animes that you could scale, but uh-huh. Dragon Ball Z, like, Sailor Moon. Like, like, people people don't even touch there. Sailor Moon yeah. for a reason. Yeah, for good why, reason. Why do we have? Uh, like I I feel like this should be common sense. It really should be at this mm-hmm. point. Like think think about this, okay? Piccolo blew up the moon before the Saiyans even showed up. Has anybody come close to doing some shit like that? Didn't Master Roshi blow up the moon too? He has. In Dragon Ball? In Dragon Ball. Like, bro. The moon is quite literally irrelevant in that fucking realm. Yeah, like, it just doesn't make any sense to compare, like, 
earth shattering feats to ninjas and swordsmen you know what i mean like there's no point Bro, like, wasting your like time. worlds end in this anime when's the last time you saw a planet blow up in fucking naruto bro that is such a good point like like in the last movie in the last yeah yeah, 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 yeah. you see you see that meteor that big giant meteor coming down it takes like a bunch of ninja to cut it in half yep and then sasuke and comes in like and blows obliter- it away obliterate right. like half of it and it and it looks huge but that's nothing compared to a moon and this is like kage level sasuke mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah, like again, you really are just wasting your time. The moon <laughs> was destroyed by Master Roshi in Dragon Ball. Ball. When our main character was a literal child, like had not accomplished anything, his teacher <sighs> blew it up before the main series even started. You're really gonna try to compare that to all this other like, stuff? Like like Dragon Ball outscales everything, everything else, else already, like Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> So what you just said, Master Roshi could clap peak Naruto and Sasuke? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to play that that guy. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I fucking love that. <laughs> I, I mean, hey, they, so they brought Master Roshi into the uh, Universal like tournament thing, bro. Yeah, he the tournament of power, a, you're right. He, he was did, a contender did, did to mm-hmm. save the universe, bro. The universe. That's a big scale. Yeah. He wins in my book, bro. He, bro, he even got like recognition from Mas- or from Lord Beerus. Yeah, mm-hmm. from or, from a god of destruction. He's like you, you sir. Yeah, I have you have earned my respects. What is your name? Exactly. Yeah. No, I I love that so much actually because like he deserves it, bro. Master Roshi's the goat. Like I love that they gave him his moment. You know, considering he's we've known him since the very beginning too, and like yeah. you kind of forget about him in Dragon Ball Z because obviously everyone's just kind of all over the place but like he has technique he knows what he's doing and he has that experience it makes a big difference which means he and he can clap 90 percent of anime yeah honestly uh, you got no, no, think, about, think, about, think, about, think about the taijutsu we saw some baller ass taijutsu in that mm-hmm. like in the boruto uh versus or, or like naruto versus what is his name uh, Mom- uh, momoshiki momoshiki yeah, okay. yeah 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 versus him right and like he takes that form and uh, like yeah but you can still see them throwing hands yeah yeah yeah, yeah. in dragon ball z no yeah no 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 there was impacts like you couldn't see the punches being thrown they were going so fast you're right it's just like 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 during during the the first tournament they were already doing that shit yeah like if the main audience is just kind of like where the hell where, did they where, go where'd they go like yeah yeah hmm the only time we kind of really like see that in Naruto, for example, is like when Naruto gets to that point where he's like as fast as like Minato, right? Yeah. At the end of the show, before the like when the war is starting, mm-hmm. and that's one character. Even the right Kage couldn't keep up with him at that point. And the fastest thing they can come up to like beat that was fucking teleportation. Yeah, literal teleportation, right. which mm-hmm. is also in Dragon Ball with the fucking instant transfer. It's more of a substitution. That's MS. Yeah. That's movement speed, bro. That's not attack speed. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Goku sitting stationary could probably throw 200 punches faster than Naruto could pull up and do a shadow clone jutsu. So quick. Mm-hmm. That's before even a Super Saiyan form. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Now, and I want everybody to understand this, okay? <laughs> oh, Sailor no. Moon would still clap Goku's cheeks. Easy. Easy. Like fucking cake, bro. No contest. She loves cake. I can't wait to see everyone <laughs> mad. I can't wait to hear everyone. Complain. I hope they get mad. Me too. It's true, though. It is. Why are you trying to scale Dragon Ball against anything else? Especially yeah, it makes no sense. Okay. And if you haven't been convinced by that already, we're moving on. Okay. Uh, now, <clears throat> most hated anime characters. Oh, God. I'm excited about this because we don't really talk about the show too much, but we all really like it. That's you a good point. I mean? Yeah, yeah, And, like, I'm still waiting on a season two confirmation because I pray that it comes. I want it so yeah, badly. Yeah. I don't know, man. Stop. I think that was only put Shh. out there to boost the manga because, like, right after the anime yeah. came out, then the manga got published. That's that's the point. And, uh, dude, everywhere I look, the manga is, like, being promoted like crazy. Like, you've been mm-hmm. to Kinokunya lately? But have you it's bought it? Everywhere. 
Is it really? It really is. Yeah. And it just had been installed, bro. Oh, Tell uh, 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 Yeah, they did. Have you have you bought one? No, because I don't want to read the manga for it yet. Have you? No. Uh, oh, neither have I. I don't think Jesse has. No, yeah. Jesse's read Maybe all of I it. Live with. Jesse's read all of it. Yep. But he didn't buy it. No. That's. And if you guys don't know thing. what we're talking about, we're talking about Tokyo Revengers. That's the thing. Like. It's about it's about the sales. I know, I know. Mm-hmm. Like, if you want to see an anime, buy the manga. Buy the One Piece manga and read it. <laughs> let's all. I'm read not it. worried let's about all, that. Bro. Let's all read it together. No, let's all read it together. Come on. Oh, there's a whole entire box that they got bought. Let's buy more. Let's buy all of it. Let's buy volume ninety nine. I've already started, bro. Fine. Anyways. Back to the topic on I'm hand. going to yeah. wait till One Piece ends know, and buy the entire complete series in one box set because that shit's going to be one, insanely expensive, and two, very limited. Yep. And I'm going to buy probably two, one to sell and one to keep. Smart man. That's smart, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Back to our most hated anime character. Oh, I might have to take um, that out of there. <laughs> from, uh, <laughs> uh, we're talking about... Kisaki Teta, the main antagonist, I guess, of Tokyo Revengers. The fuck with the fucking mohawk and <laughs> glasses. We all know who, who he is. I'll throw a picture up on screen. But, dude, he pisses me off so much. He's so trash. He is. He's such a trash human being, bro. I don't even want to wear glasses anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. He just, like, he makes everything so difficult, So bro. difficult, bro. Like, everything. Why? Why are you, why are you there? Why do you instigate shit? Like, there's no reason for you to do the things you do. Like, you just want power. You just want to, like, get Mama in. not, like, hug you enough? Did she, fucking, like, dad not give you enough attention growing up? He's such a rat, too. Like, he infiltrates the fucking, like... The, the gang that they're in, right? And, like, gets all buddy-buddy with Mikey and shit, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, I forgot the main character's name. It's been a minute since I watched it. Um, But we know who, who I'm talking about. He knows, and he's, like, trying to tell everyone, like, guys, this guy's a piece of shit. Like, why, why are we associating guys, with yeah. him? And he just, he, no one will listen. And he keeps going back and forth and, like, thinking that, like, oh, I fixed it this time. Things should be good. Nope. Everyone's still dying. Nope. And he's even bigger piece of shit now. Right? And it's crazy because, like, whenever his, again, I'm bad with names, but his Takamichi? friend, like, the, the, who? Takamichi. Yeah. The main character. Whenever he sees his friend, the redhead guy, remember? Mm-hmm. Remember when, like, they were in the... Oh, spoilers, if you have not seen the show. That's spoiler warning at the beginning. Yeah, like, you really need to watch the show. I hope we did. We did. We did. Oh, well. Well, spoiler. Spoiler warning. Um, Whenever they see... Or whenever he sees his friend, like, in the car, remember? And he, like, Mm -hmm. rams into their car. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm just too afraid of Kisaki. Mm -hmm. Like, what is this monster doing to these people, bro? No, I I couldn't. That scared. I couldn't. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, bro, when I saw when I saw him like the first time, and he like kills himself, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. And then, and then the second time, it's like, oh man, cool. Like he look, he looks way better. Yeah. And then he fucking kills, kills himself, himself and her. Just uh, we, I thought he killed himself like three times now. Like uh, it just seems like a thing that like he has to die. Like it's like some it, kind yeah of, yeah it's like a reoccurring thing like time loop for something. Um, I, I know for sure it's like when he killed himself when he jumped off the building and then the second time was the car. I don't remember a third time. Oh uh, maybe he. Oh. But I know um, hmm, I forgot his name too. Um, Mikey's it, friend, the tall one. Dragon. Drak. Draken. 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 Yeah, he dies at one point too. That's scary. Oh, at one point, yeah. Yeah, but then and then he goes back and fixes it, right? But now he's in prison. But now he's in prison mm-hmm. on death like, row. On death row, and like all of this bad shit is happening. But nobody knows where Mikey is. Nobody knows where he is. I'm a, I'm interested to see what he's been doing like in the future. I guess because he is alive. Yeah, just doing random shit. Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it just baffles me that like all this crazy shit happens each time he goes into the past and future, and it's all due to fucking Kisaki. Like, well, f- finally, Takamichi is a part of the of like the upper echelon of mm-hmm. the gang, right? That's but true. in the future, he so is he's too a now. Commander, right? Yeah. Like it's it's so crazy. He straight up changed the future. His yeah. phone does not have any of the contacts that they used to have. Yeah. Nope. So I wonder how he's going to go back. Because, like, if y'all remember how it ended, like, homeboy had the gun to his, his head. head. Yeah. 
and then just black out. I'm like, how do you get out of that? It goes back in time. How does he go back in time? What's his name? Like, he has grabs to his hand. Well, he just runs in and grabs his hand. Probably. I don't think so, bro. I don't know. That'd be too con like too plot convenient. <sighs> no, they were leading up to it. Where, but the guy wasn't even around. Yeah, I but I they kept they the mentioning room. the absence of him. And then they kept showing him them like getting closer to hunting him down. Maybe. But would he remember him though if the future changed so much? Do you think he'd still remember him? I feel like he would. I mean, yeah, they did. Yeah. Because yeah. they, they, they both have powers. Yeah. They connected. Do you think that'll be explained at all? Or is it just like a, a thing that's in the show that just a thing. You just have to accept it. Who knows, bro? Well, like, why do people like go to another world when they get hit by a truck? <laughs> truck cocoon. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> you love that so much. I do. It's really funny. <laughs> every, every, time I, every time I see a truck, I'm just like, hey, look, Isakai truck. <laughs> but yeah, yeah no, he's, a he's a piece of shit. He's a shit. Um, because uh, okay, so when I said this a minute ago, it came to my mind. Do you know what two things that came out of 2021 that I just love fucking saying now? Mm. The Mikey. Yeah, no, that one. That one. <laughs> and then the one that you guys got me on, Subarashi. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny though pablo says it every now and then too oh man i love that word <laughs> all right so it's a little lovely um we're, we got a we got a pretty mm, saucy sensei this week we got miss yorichi from bleach bleach yes I fucking love her. I do too, but what did she teach him? How to go into Bankai? She did give him the necessary tools and understood. Well, didn't like, teach him how to use his Bankai, Bankai but like she, she pushed the, him to yeah. like, you need to learn a Bankai. She's like, look, this is what this is. Go do it. Mm -hmm. She's also the one that no, like. No, you know what? Her pulling up. You kind of right, you know. Never mind, never mind. She did a lot for him. Her pulling up and being like, "All right, you're gonna get a bankai in three days, like that, or in four days." And he's like, "No, nah, I gotta, I gotta do three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I yeah. gotta do three. And she's sitting there. I mean, the whole time she sits there and watches and is like, you're "Close, but like, I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to reach it." So yeah, you gotta figure a few things out, kid. Mm -hmm. She was also the first one to like catch the fact that he had a uh, a hollow mask forming. In the beginning, she straight up told him she was like, "What is like? Give me that." And, oh yeah. And he's like, he's like, that. no, like it's mine. It's been lucky and like it's been lucky. <laughs> it's been lucky for me. And yeah, he's she's like, like good luck charm. <laughs> and like, she, like it's really intense and is like, give it to me right now. Yeah. No, she knew the severity of that mask. Mm -hmm. Like she knew exactly what it was. But it's also because of her relationship with like Kisuke. Like yeah, you know he he knows she knows. Like you know they withheld a lot of information. Now that I think about it, mm. a lot of information down to the very end. Yeah. Like. But she's like the flash step master. Yeah. And she probably helped teach him the flash step in that whole training, like those few days. Too. Probably. Because like he, he, Cause he went didn't. from not doing it to, to doing, doing it. it. Doing yeah. it yeah. There's no way that he learned it just casually. casually. Like, oh, that's how you do it. Like, no, if she if you're with the flash step master, you're going to know you're going to like learn it from them. Right. Yeah. They're probably leaving. And she was like, nah, bitch. Yeah. Wait. wait. She would not let him leave without learning it. She'd be yeah. like, okay, oh, yeah. okay, so yeah, you got Bankai and all that, but you you got to learn Flash that before you leave. Yeah, cause... especially she knows that he's going to have to go up against Byakuya, and like, she just finished facing off against him too, so she can kind of like gauge like how how strong he is, right? Mm -hmm. So he she's going to know like, okay, you need to be relatively at this level if you're going to even try to go up, go up against him. Okay, do you think that she taught him that and like realized after she saw like what his Bankai is? And was like, okay, well, like, here's also, like, a good technique for you to build up to that speed. Mm, I personally think that it did not take Ichigo long to learn the flash step. Like, I think he was already mm -hmm. on his way to kind of, like, figuring it out. Mm -hmm. But her just kind of, like, solidifying that. and be like, hey, like, you need to do this. And he probably picked it up really fast and just incorporated that into his Bankai training. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Because yeah. he was having to fight Zangetsu that entire time to achieve the Bankai, right? Mm-hmm. Mm, he was having to run sense. away and find those swords and everything too so i think having that flash step in that training would probably help him out a lot that oh. makes a lot of sense huh she was a good damn sensei yeah mm. she's a good teacher yeah you're right. You're right. and a teacher that'll show you her titties too <laughs> that's mm. and we'll get into the hot springs with you <laughs> yeah like what's better and plus she'll turn into a cat and cuddle you i just want yoruichi same Okay, well, I don't know about the cat part. <laughs> Actually, like I, I have a, I have a cat. <laughs> if it turned into a person, it'd freak me the fuck out. <laughs> Evie turns into a fucking human being. I've been cuddling with you. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be creepy. It'd be like it'd be like in Harry Potter. Oh, with the uh, uh, McGonagall, yeah, yeah. yeah. the rat. Like, oh my god, our cat's an animagus the whole time. I love that. <laughs> be terrifying i love that still yeah okay no, she, yeah. she's a great sensei mm -hmm. yeah. yeah if you haven't heard of anchor go download it this is the best place for you to get started if you want to start a podcast if you're interested in podcasting or if you want to listen to podcasts and discover more anchor the is the best place, place to, to start mm -hmm. absolutely it helped us start from when we were just two mics and a little audio mixer to this full blown beautiful set now. And like we've used Anchor through a whole journey. Yeah. I mean, being able to post just in one place on Anchor and they will put us on Google Podcasts, everything. Apple Podcasts, Spotify. When when I found out we were on Apple Podcast, I was shocked because like I wasn't expecting them to get us on it mm. like that so quick and easy. Like I thought that was going to be something we'd have to reach out or do something different. And it's also crazy because you know that we've actually been making money off this podcast since the second episode. So, really? Yeah, man. You can actually uh, get sponsorships super simple with, and you don't need any minimum. Like, you know, you need minimum listenership. Yeah. I, I, yeah. That's the best part. Like mm -hmm. not a lot of people have to listen and you can build it up. Yeah. You know? I, I, I knew we were earning something, but I didn't know it's like since the second episode. Yes, That's sir. crazy. And uh, it's super easy to get started. All you need to do is download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Yeah. Thank you, go, Anchor. Go download it. Thank you, Anchor. Okay, can we talk about that last episode of My Dress Up Darling? I know it's been over for a while, but like we haven't talked about it and we all need to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Like, Can I recap the season? Yeah, and like the overall show and like what we thought about it. Like we said, spoiler warning, we're literally talking about the f the finale to this season. Yeah. <laughs> like, this was the hook for the long-term watchers, you know, for those people like Martine who, you know, don't really watch those kind of animes typically and are dipping into it. He's yeah. invested now. Oh, yeah. yeah. This show single-handedly pushed me down a rabbit hole, and I've watched, like, at least two or three other fucking slides of life shows now. Man's over here you contemplating picking Horinia. up the manga. He told me that, didn't On you? Hulu. Is it on Hulu? Mm -hmm. On Hulu. It's dubbed and sub. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, they, they, they at one point do the, the same thing that they end the season with. Really? Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's like low key kind of a trope, oh, you know. Okay, okay. You know, but like yeah, the way they did it hits. It yeah, does, the way they no, did it was really, really nice. Why, why are we like... talking in uh, like code here? You know that phone call. <laughs> that end credit. You guys got to get the end yeah, credit. The you end see it. credit scene. Yeah, he I missed it the her. first time. I didn't realize it. Be and that's why I made sure to tell you guys. I was like, guys, there's something after the credits because when me and Pablo watched it. And the credits rolled like normal we just were like okay like that's it and then i went on like instagram and then i saw scenes and i'm like where is this from and then i was like wait i think i missed something and i went back <laughs> and i was like oh my god we missed a whole end credit scene so i like i like that end credit scene made you fall in love even more it didn't it did. uh, yeah honestly they were just like they wrapped up nicely and then it's just like and now you're addicted <laughs> 
<laughs> like the it's so wholesome it's mm-hmm. so good because i love the ending already with the fireworks can we talk about how good that looked that for brought you? me to it that shot was incredible was beautiful beautiful like the way it panned yeah. around and you saw all those fireworks and the lights and like the light bouncing off of like their faces and everything and, like you could see it in his eyes it was so crisp and i was just amazed was... because like you know you guys know me i come from like a production background mm-hmm. and just the production value on that episode like amazing lord i was like wow it's so beautiful and on top of that just the story and like her coming in and the fact that she like dressed up in the um the traditional like Mm -hmm. japanese like clothing and everything you know i even put on the black drip everything it just it was so good and i i'm so happy that like he's happy you know what i mean yeah yeah and like that little he had a good time he He had a great time and he was finally able to experience that whole festival in person instead of just seeing it from his window Window, yeah you know what i mean damn these are crazy up close yeah Uh It's and, so loud. Yeah, but he was just like, and he called it beautiful again too, because you can just tell like he has not experienced a lot of stuff, right? And he's the fact a shut that he, in, Loki. He's a shut he in. He is a shut in. And the fact that he gets to experience all of this with her, who appreciates mm-hmm. everything he does too, you know, it just makes it all better in my opinion. It's it's mm-hmm. really really good. I can't wait for. I like. Yeah, stop talking about it. Because like the more we talk about it, the more I convince myself to want to pick up the manga. <laughs> uh, I, I haven't, I haven't finished hey, it. They already right, confirmed the season two. Sorry. Ooh, oh, that's I'm a good gonna, point. I'm, I'm sorry. I want to see whatever they animate. Fair uh, point. No, you got a fair point. You don't. No, 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 no. no. That is the next point. Did you not see those size enough... physics? I know. Okay. I'm just. Trust me, bro. I pre- what? I didn't I'm know just saying. saying. I didn't say anything. <laughs> It just speaks his truth. <laughs> I know, I know. Don't you worry. No, but I'm I'm so excited for what's to come. Like I this. know it has to be fucking top tier gold. Yeah. I mean, for her to for her to say I love you. I know. Mm-hmm. On the phone. But like it was like an, she's teasing us, yeah. bro. Like, come on. And that's what I really liked about it too, is just because like you see that scene, right? And like who hasn't had a conversation like mm-hmm. that, like over the phone where you're like talking until you fall asleep. Mm-hmm. It's just so relatable, you know, I haven't, I personally, you know, haven't seen a lot of shows. So seeing something like that, that's so relatable and it was just done so well. I was like, dang, like I didn't realize like how much I like this kind of stuff, you know? So I, it really like impressed me with how, how good this first season was. They grab bro, all those hard bro, strings, bro. And they pull. Yeah. You really got, yeah, yeah. Like, after we record this episode, y'all are ma- are making y'all both watch Horror Mia episode one. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. before you leave here. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> it's so good, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm all for, like, shows like these, you know what I mean? Just oh, like, but okay, like, okay. Yeah. You are? I am. Oh. Daddy's got something special for y'all then. Yeah? Heike, yes. It's, it is wholesome. Mm-hmm. It is good in, like 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 high moral standing okay. okay but it's not it's not that okay i'm talking about uh can you pronounce that first name kotaro lives alone okay it's on netflix mm-hmm. sub dub dubbed it mm-hmm. looks sad it. as fuck bro it does I'm look sure sad. you've seen clips of like the little kid walking with the balloon and he's like alone all the time maybe okay no 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 there's it's funny you bring that up okay so <laughs> <laughs> no, because I saw some dude, because there was some shit about a balloon I saw in an episode, and I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it looked sad. I was like, I don't want to watch this shit. But, but okay. It's called it's... Kotaro Lives Alone, and the yeah. only thing I'm seeing, it looks sad. Wait, you, what, that's all they're showing you. Uh-huh. What they aren't showing you are the side characters. Okay. Okay. You have all these different side characters that are all dealing with their own internal conflicts. Okay. But then they see this four year old Mm -hmm. move into an apartment alone. Mm -hmm. A four year old, a four year old. Okay. Okay. And he's, he's a little weird because the way he addresses people is more very, uh, nightly, Mm. very like, old school okay in a sense yeah right yeah. like formal or yeah very form like old school formal okay mm-hmm. and 
everybody, you know, they're kind of tripped out about it. But then all his neighbors come to realize is that it's kind of like this, like, facade he puts on. Mm. He puts on and acts brave so that nobody sees that he's actually very scared and doesn't know what's going on. That's so sad. Mm Mm-hmm. And he ends up actually, like, relying... No, but he ends up relying on these other people. Uh Uh-huh. And these other people learn, like, to, like, see past their own problems because, like, of, like, how much, like, how much worse it could actually be. Okay. Okay, so, like... There's this four-year-old kid who has nobody... So they kind of like they like, empathize with them. It, it has like, one of the greatest moments because like he has um, ceremony day, uh-huh. his first day of school, and everybody's like, "Where? Like, where's he at?" And then they see this family run by, and they're like, "Oh my god, I can't believe we're late on the first day!" And they were like, "Oh, well, he, he was wearing that same outfit or that same hat." And they were like, "Oh my god, it's his first day!" And literally, they stop everything they're doing and they bolt to be there. He had like no chair next to him and he's just sitting there and like he tells the kid he tells the kids in his class that his parents are ninjas and you can't see them. <laughs> oh, why did you tell me that? I'm gonna cry. Bro. Oh my god, are you serious? This sounds so sad. <laughs> why do you want oh to watch this? Because it is super wholesome. It is That's super, so super sad, wholesome. Bro. I think out of every anime convincing you've done, this is the first one that gave me like a visceral reaction, and I'm like, oh my god. Do you want me to explain the balloon thing? I don't no! know. If, I don't know. If, no! <laughs> God. I'm going to do it. Now, if you want to see us like tear I've, up, then I've watch seen it. Yeah, the yeah. clip already. Yeah. I'm oh, good. No. Okay, so. No. There's, oh, no. No. Man. All of his family died and he draws them on them and he names them. Yes, let's move on. Kataro <laughs> lives at home. If you hate yourself, go watch it. It's really good. I don't know what they're getting on about. I'm going to cry. <sighs> While everybody gets their shit together, let's take a break. Yeah, please. I need this. All right. So we're back. And uh, we have a new um, segment that we're going to be doing here every once in a while. It is, uh, we're going to be doing some anime tier lists. Today we're going to be starting with some shonen ones. I did not know. <laughs> I did not notice till just now. That the lowest tiers, the second lowest <laughs> tier is butt cheeks, <laughs> and the, the the lowest tier is the literal shit. shit. Yeah, yeah. Because why not chaos? Yeah, let's get into this. Shit. Yeah. Into this. So we're gonna be ranking basically not every single shonen because there are a lot, but like the most popular. We have yeah, we have quite a few here that we're gonna be doing today, and yeah. then we're gonna be ranking them from S to literal shit. Okay, well, let's start with what we know is going to be in literal shit. Um, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find Boruto. Yeah, where is that? <laughs> I know that was on there. Found it. How did I know that you were going to do that? Literal shit, point. first thing. <laughs> cool. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, wait. we can actually start. <laughs> All right. I can't wait to start the episode like this. <laughs> 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 you have to do it now. Oh, I love it. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. What do, you well, got? what do you got first? Attack on Titan? Yeah, the first one here on the list is Attack on Titan. Okay, so because like I haven't seen the ending. Yeah, that's what's gonna make it tough because I have an opinion, but like I haven't seen the way it ends. Okay, so okay. Let's change. start with the classics. Oh, okay. Dragon uh, Ball? Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Yeah. S tier. OG Dragon Ball? Oh, wait, there, no, no just Dragon, Ball Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Okay, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's I'm like sorry. A, that's Dragon like Ball a, Z is yeah. like C tier, bro. Yeah. It's always it's awful. Like story, <laughs> storytelling wise, it's C tier. Yeah. In terms of just like, yeah, obviously nostalgia is there and everything, but like it is so basic and so yeah. just all over the place. That... Should we talk about the goat? Uh, I, I kind of feel like we should put Super in there too. I would put super yeah. less than Z, bro. I would not put it in the same as Z. <laughs> yeah, Super's is kind of butt cheeks. Honestly, I'd feel better putting Dragon Ball Z in like B and then Super in C, because C like, oh, no, <laughs> like super I'm not a big I'm not a big too, like fan service kind of guy, and like that's all Super feels like to me. Oh, that dude, dude, like oh, yeah. that father son Gallic gun, the return of future the return trunks, of future trunks, Gohan coming back, Vegito power. You got uh, Super Saiyan Blue Broly Vegito as a female. Oh yeah, 
And then they bring in Broly. Yeah, but it just was executed really like poorly. And then they give Goku a form that rivals the gods. Yeah. All in like... 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> less than? Yeah, less than. Less than? Yeah, it's butt cheeks. It's butt cheeks. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I kind of think... Um, Promise Neverland is as well, but that's just me. Okay, what about Yu Yu Hakusho? Fucking goaded, bro. That has to be at least an A tier. At least A? Okay, a or, okay. A or B. Okay. I, I, I agree. Mm -hmm. But I'm making the case for B because how fucking annoying was that? I'm at max power. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, it's actually yeah, at 80 it's percent 90, of my max power. But it's 90s anime, though. Like, I, I, it's kind of like the thing that they did, you know. In terms of like the actual show and story and everything, like that, I think it's a tier worthy, personally. I'm gonna give it a name for me. It was too nostalgic for me. I loved it, bro. I loved it too, but Hunter Hunter was better. So. So would you put that in S tier? Yeah. I mean, I would. Yeah. Yeah. Hunter, Hunter. <laughs> is Hunter Hunter on here? Yeah. Yeah, it's on there. Oh, bet. I'm putting hey, it can, in S tier. Can we just get the other one out of the way? Like the obvious one? Obviously, yeah. Yeah, can we just get one piece up there in S tier? Oh, oh, yeah. Of course. Why isn't there a god tier? Okay. So, um, how would y'all rate Soul Eater? B. It's because you haven't read the manga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, okay, I'm open to the thought like, of it like I've, being different. I've read ending. the manga and I'm like instantly thinking Soul Eater S tier. Really? Yes. Yeah, I mean, bro, you gotta think about what it was when it came out. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll hear. Okay, okay, I'll hear you. I'll, I'll give it an A. Phenomenon. I'll give you an A. Just because I don't know, but like I, I do take your, your, your your words honestly, into consideration so i'll give honestly, it an a everybody start going go buy soul eater so we can get another anime Dude, they're anime rebooting reboot. stuff all the time i mean they rebooted each they're, they're just finally they, they redid soul eater mm. or soul eater they redid sailor moon that's true oh, yeah yeah, I mean, now's the time for any of these shows that didn't get a proper ending to get their endings on. Dude, the animation mm -hmm. still holds up, too. Yeah. And they're like, it's Go buy Dead, Dead Man Wonderland. Go buy Dead Man Wonderland and thank me later. Naruto? Naruto? Like, OG Naruto? That says just ROG Naruto. Yeah, I'm gonna put that up in S tier. Yeah, same. That, it's fucking That was iconic. fantastic. Shippuden, I, I absolutely yeah. loved OG Naruto. Shippuden doesn't look... Oh, yeah, Shippuden's right there, actually. So they have separate Naruto and the Naruto, Naruto Shippuden. Shippuden. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Naruto Shippuden, I'm going to put in B tier. Same. Um, Where are you putting it in B tier? Hmm? Shit dragged. Destiny Child. Honest. And then, yeah. It did drag. Flashbacks. Aliens. Flashbacks. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. There's more. Flashbacks. Flashbacks. Jinx Kill Minnesota. Fuck. Um. <laughs> Oh, I got you one the other well, day, wait. bitch. To to finish fair up enough, the fair uh, enough. to finish out the big three. What about Bleach? And I know you haven't finished, obviously, so far. I, I like it. I mean, but like, if I'm like, if this is uh, their placement of filler is very annoying in my opinion, and I'm not a fan, so I'm gonna have to put it like a B tier. It like from like the actual story, like the coherent timeline. Oh, I'm putting in it in a tier. I I really want to put it in a tier. And I'm just like. <clears throat> But you let make me, a really let me good finish point it. Let me filler though. Like, let me finish it and then I'll let you know if I change it. Fair, yeah. I mean, I skipped all that filler. I skipped all the filler in Naruto. I mean, but I, I'd still kind of agree with what y'all put that in. I don't give a shit what you guys say. I'm Black Clover's A tier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that one coming. Um, make, speak your fucking piece and let's just get it out of the way. Speak your fucking piece. Where where is that? I didn't even see that on this list. Yeah, because you right can't there. recognize the fucking picture because you don't pick up the fucking manga. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, I dragged it into the little shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're a fucking dick. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll say Manga. it's C tier. B tier, bro. There's so much you haven't seen, bro, and I swear if you actually like like at least picked it up, you would have like fallen up with it. I guarantee it. Copy of Naruto. It's no, not a copy. It's of not. Naruto. Not even fucking close. It's not really anymore. Not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah, 
No, I said the same thing at the beginning, but now looking back, see on it, at like, the no. beginning. Okay, but bro, let a story develop, bro. Come yeah. on, you don't judge One Piece on the first fucking thirty episodes. You judge it on the whole thousand, and it's a masterpiece. I, I kind of judged it on the first thirty episodes. I mean, it's so did I. It's the only reason I love cool. it. <laughs> Work with me here, bro. It's new gen anime. Come I, on. I, I'm gonna go with you. I say no, B. Hold on, hold on. No, you're say over no here one. saying you're talking shit like, oh, it's rip off of Naruto. He fucking loves Jujutsu Kaisen. To rip off a of fucking Bleach. Yeah, I love Fairy Tale. All the characters are modeled after One Piece characters. Come on, <laughs> work with me here, bro. Work with me here. I didn't say that it was literal shit. I said it was C tier. Hey, man, I'm just trying to make a case for B tier. I'm, I make a case for B tier. Just because, like, again, hey, we've read the manga. You know, I think Come the on. manga push, pushes it to B tier. Hey, uh, I pushed up this. Tell me this. I bumped up. I bumped up Soul Eater at least one point based off of what you said. Come on. Fine, I'll put it in B tier. Thank you. But, but I have to ask you this. <laughs> okay. Can you not see the story events coming before they happen? No, not no. at all. No. Not at all. Mm -mm. Complete. You, don't, you don't see the pattern. No, no, no. In each arc, no, no. Especially with what's been with happening. what's been absolutely happening, no, not, bro. absolutely not. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see some. I guarantee you'll read some shit, bro. That you'll be like, oh my fucking god. That's what I'm saying, bro. I, like if you judge, I know, it, and I've refrained from leaking or telling you anything about this specific scene because I know how much you love this one specific character, and when you see them get this fuck. moment, you're gonna be like, oh, that is what I am yeah. talking about. You know exactly yeah, well, what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. yeah. God damn it. I'm telling you. And like, bro, we've been holding that in for like a year. Oh my god, you're telling me. And you're holding on to devil unions and that. <laughs> bro, I don't even want to start with that. Oh, please don't start with that because that's going to send Okay, us okay, 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 Death Note. Yeah, no. Ooh, Death Note. S tier. S tier. Yeah, S tier is a... I wait, 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 actually, A tier. A tier? After L died, it kind of got... Oh, no, oh, you're right. You're right, you're, you're right. absolutely right, yeah. If it if it ended when like when L died, when L like, died as tier. Excellent. Excellent. But yeah, no, they they kind of that ending was not great. But I do recommend the show to everyone enough for it to be A tier, so. Okay. What about Promised Neverland? Okay, I'm I can only judge the first season cuz I didn't watch the second season. Mm -hmm. That first season was great. I loved it. I don't feel comfortable putting it any higher than B tier. Okay. Agreed. Even if I'm just judging based off of the first season, agreed. If you had that me, second me, season, let me tell you, cheeks. the second season, I could not finish it because I could not like physically stay awake mm -hmm. while it yeah, was I watched, on. I watched two episodes of it. And I'm like, what? I'm gonna have to give it C tier. If you don't yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in C tier. That's being generous. So. Yeah, because like that first season was. No, really you know what? I put it in a butt cheek. Sorry, that's butt cheek. Hey, I like that butt cheek. <laughs> well, never mind. I guess. One Punch Man, C tier. Wait, where is that at? Da, 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 da. Oh, there it is. Da, 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 da. You said C tier. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I give it that. I mean, yeah, it was great and it was a funny, funny story, but like, it's 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 funny story. It's joke. Why do people one, take then. so serious? Like, <sighs> like, oh, I want to see his training arc. And it's like, bitch. Full Metal Alchemist. What? Ooh. A tier. That's what I was thinking. Is that Brotherhood? That's Brotherhood. Full Metal Alchemist. Brotherhood. A tier? Mm hmm No, dude, that's S tier. Yeah? Uh, absolutely. That is a masterpiece of a story. Okay, okay. It's, it's, it is so well-rounded. How has Totally Not Mark not reviewed that? I don't know, but don't I'm know. hoping he does that soon. And everyone's been bugging him about it. <sighs> totally Not Mark, if you're listening, please do it. I would yes, love that. Please. Um, JoJo's? B tier. Butt cheeks. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, are we talking... Oh, what, JoJo's? This is... This, oh, this, this doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? Yeah, yeah, but no, like what part? Work. Like all of it or like a certain part? Are they so vastly like different that you one, can't judge part JoJo's one. as There's totally different new MCs every part. Oh, I didn't Yes, know. it's like a generational curse. If you're going bro. off of if you're going off of who's on the cover of that fucking literal shit. Cuz that's Geo. 
Okay, well, at its best. Some people really love GeoGeo, though, dude. Like, yeah, but I hate the conception of him. That's why. But it's not his fault. I know that. It's just so weird. God, you're like the people who hate Ace for existing. Oh, don't even give me that shit. It's well, not. It's a good thing he's a donut now. Now you don't have to worry. <gasps> oh my fucking god! You know, I knew this was gonna get so hostile, and I love it. I love you know, it. So I'm putting, much. I'm putting JoJo's in C tier, and that's uh, that's overall. <laughs> no, okay, okay, I'll average, give it that. Yeah. I'll give it fucking overall. Yes. Fairy tale. B tier. I'll give it C tier. Yeah, yeah, right up there with black. Uh, oh, with black clover. You know, <laughs> my hero. Uh, they, I think they might do magic Ooh. better. My hero. What? Damn, bro. <laughs> you just keep fucking throwing in shots, man. Uh, you said my hero? Yeah, my hero. Uh, let's put it in literal shit. No, no. I'm not letting you put it in literal shit. Butt cheeks? No. Okay. Oh, is there a poop ball? Y'all read the manga. What you mean? You're right. It's A tier. It, it got so good, and y'all yeah, know, like, once this season drops, it's gonna get way more like attention than like it normally did, and better attention, not from the cringy fans, but like the people who actually know what good story is. Yeah. So I need I need you to hear this, okay? I'm mm -hmm. putting high Q and S tier. S tier. Oh, did you do it too? Yes. <laughs> I looked over. I was literally about to bring it up and I saw you dragging it up and I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Get out of my head. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> seven Deadly Sins? Seven Deadly Sins. I'm gonna I say, love Seven Deadly Sins. I'm going to say A tier. Not B tier. It's a little generic. Yeah. I can go with that. B tier. Damn, Boruto is still in literal shit. Mm -hmm. Look, we made a, a rule that like we can only move them three times. I don't think that's ever gonna out, out of the tier, but I don't think. Boruto, you don't think I, I like made that rule thinking like, well, maybe we'll find something that's like <laughs> worse than Boruto. You know, like maybe something in there that is literal shit. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to find I, that. I don't know. Like we're kind of closing up on this. Kuroko basketball. Kuroko no basket. You know. I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna make that butt cheeks. Really? Yeah, it was good. It was really, really great. It was fun. It was cool. But like, the actual main character was so plain and dry. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give it C. Like, you said butt like, cheeks? like, like you, you remember, you remember that feeling you got? When, yes, I did. When you first saw Midoriya, and you were like, "Oh God, this is our main character." Oh uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I get that. But feeling. but like it carried through the whole story. Ooh, yeah. that's the problem. Butt cheeks. <laughs> um, Gintama. Hmm. I have not watched all of it. Mm hmm. Same. Have not Fight watched scenes anything. are really badass, and like the character moments are cool too. So, but I never finished it. So I'm gonna say butt cheeks. Butt cheeks. Butt cheeks. Not little shit like Boruto. Nothing um, Boruto is the only thing that's gonna stay down there. Lou Exorcist. Hmm. Part of me wants to put it up there in B tier. Manga is as far as oh, dude, it really is. Like once the Illuminati comes in, A two, yeah. I can't wait till the Bunny Lord sees us. All right, Noragami. <sighs> have you not watched it? Me? Yeah. No, I have. I'm just thinking. I'm deciding between A and B. Hmm. I feel like it might be S tier, bro. Really? With the manga? Oh no. E Is that good? It's really good. Like, right, I'll, give, I'll give it an A tier. Stuff really well. What's that second? Or what's that last? Last one? I forgot. Something reborn. Oh, Hitman, oh, Hitman reborn. reborn. Butt um, cheeks. Butt cheeks. Yeah. What is that one even about? It's about this fucking wimp ass little bitch, and uh, he he like actually somehow turns out to be like a mafia boss 
like reincarnation something like that and like mm. this little dude named reborn pulls up and he's like got this gun and he shoots him with it and it gives him like these powers and he's like this super unconfident little wimpy boy mm-hmm. and then he gets shot with the gun he has a, like a burst of confidence and he gets fire fists and like eventually he like has his own confidence a cool great character arc but like the side characters are annoying mm-hmm. like actually annoying like really cringy the cast gets way too large way too fast and all of them are way too quirky oh mm-hmm. god yeah yeah yeah, yeah i it's, know it's, exactly it's, yeah, what you one mean of those you that. yeah okay and it just it just wiles out from there like the villains all all the stuff that happens you're just kind of like <sighs> Oof. Oof. <laughs> that's all i needed to know um <laughs> Hajime no Ippo. I'm putting that in A tier. Is that the boxing Damn. one? Yes, it's fantastic. I know it's just about fighting, but it's a boxing. He's like, boxing anime. It's like boxing they, he like anime. practices his techniques and like genuinely is about boxing and trains and shit. Hmm. They show it shows him struggle too. Like yeah, I mean you know boxing montages. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ronin uh, Ronin Kenshin. A tier? I was gonna put that S tier, bro. <sighs> Come on. You're right. It's I know I know nostalgia, but like it's also yeah. fucking damn near perfect. I, I haven't seen and like uh, uh, bro, bro. Top tier sword anime, bro. Didn't didn't Oda work on it? Mmm. I don't know about that. Oh, I think maybe. I'm pretty sure he did because he like that. He loves samurai. I'll look into that for you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was one of the illustrators or something. That's cool. Okay, what about Never Ending Titan? <laughs> what did you call it? <laughs> Never End <Titan. laughs> Never End Titan. Shogeki no Koishi. I say eight here, bro. I'm going to put it in A tier. Yeah, until I see the ending. Mm -hmm. When you see the ending... Oh, dude, I don't even know what they're going to do with the anime, so... Based off the manga ending, what would you put it at? A tier. You'd keep it at A tier? Yeah. As a show, as of right now... I was was slightly dissatisfied. That's fair. Well, we'll see what they do, but (laughs) overall, I fucking love it, bro. I've never been so, like... And that was one of the first shows that I watched that had such crazy plot twists because it was like earlier. One mm-hmm. of the first ones I started when I started watching a bunch of anime again. And yeah, it still maintained its like position in my top five for a good while. Yeah, okay, I can see that. Fucking Magi's not on this list. Okay. Is Magi so, Shonen? Should be. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it should be because they fight a lot, but like it's anime, so they fight, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's start from the bottom. Okay. We have in the little shit tier, Boruto. In mm-hmm. butt cheeks, we have Dragon Ball Super, Promise Neverland, Kuroko no Basket, Gintama, and Hitman Reborn. In C tier, we have Dragon Ball Z, One Punch Man, and JoJo's. In B tier, we have Yu Yu Hakusho, Naruto, Black Clover, <laughs> Fairy Tale, and Seven Deadly Sins. I wish y'all could see, for the people that don't watch the video, how many times Emery's rolled his eyes. <laughs> like, A tier, Soul Eater, Bleach, Death Note, My Hero Academia, Blue Exorcist, Blue Exorcist Norgami, Hajime no Ippo, and Attack on Titan. Mm-hmm. And then S tier is Hunter Hunter, 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 One Piece, Piece Naruto, oh, Full Metal, Metal Alchemist. Alchemist. You, you, uh, no, no, I'm sorry. Haikyuu. Haikyuu. <laughs> <laughs> and Ronin Kenshin. Nice. Hmm. I think it's pretty solid, honestly. Mine's all a little bit different. And, right? and, and, and on Emery's, he's got <laughs> Yu Yu Hakusho in A tier. Yep. He's got Black Clover in A tier. Yep. He's got. I bleach in B tier. <laughs> he's got Fairy Tale in C tier. <laughs> Bleach in B tier. I stand by this. Yeah, uh, but those are the only differences. We both agree that uh, Boruto's a literal shit. A literal shit, yeah. A literal shit of Shonen. 
I'm happy I didn't see Black Clover and S tier. I was gonna be like, of course. It's <laughs> <laughs> no, like it's not S tier. Uh, that lucky there. Jujutsu no Kaisen's it's not on here. It'd be, it'd be up in S tier too. No, it wouldn't be. Yes, it would. There no, is better be. character writing. Wait, and what? Really? Can you tell me that you don't know every name of every character in the Black Bulls? Okay, hold on. You know you can because all of the stories are told Henry. beautifully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you start with <laughs> you start with Henry, really? Oh yeah, Henry's a go, bro. I mean, yeah, but I wouldn't start with Henry. He was like Maganova. the last one introduced. Uh huh. Huh? Oh. Um, oh yeah. Your boy. No, oh, I don't remember her name. Who's? What magic? Fluffy bitch. Kimmy. She loves food. Jamie? Char Charming? Charmy? Oh, oh, Charmy. See, I couldn't name one. Wow. Huh. Cam I love wow. luck. I know you do. Magna? Oh, I already Honestly, said. she's the only one that we haven't gotten a backstory for, though. Charmy? Uh-huh. Do you think we will? I don't think we will. Gordon. Not. Gordon? What's the, uh, the dude who has that fucking sister complex again? What's his name? Huh. Oh, wow. I hate him so much. I actually think I don't remember his name. Starts with a G. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Fucking dog. Fucking dog. Maybe I need to pick this back up because I've like low keyed up fucking forgetting a bunch right now, and I'm pretty disappointed in myself. Gauss or something. Gauss. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's oh, it's go. Mm -hmm. no. Like a gauche. Gosh, it's gosh. Yeah, it's gosh. like a noise. It's like, Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm forgetting the other girl's name now, though. Noel? Vanessa? No. Really? No. Oh, no, there you go. Vanessa? Vanessa. Not Vanessa. Oh. Wow, no, I should know her name. Right? What? what? Nero? Gray. Gray. Thank you, Gray. <laughs> oh, Nero, too. Nero. Um, uh, Zora. Oh yeah, Zora is part of the. He was a later edition. Asta, Yami. Don't even say it. I'm not saying it because I can't pronounce his name. Nish. Nish. <laughs> Who? Nish. Did I don't? Did you meet him? I don't know if you met him or not. A quick Nish. question: Do you ever notice something? There's a little odd about the Black Bulls. They're kind of missing a pretty significant. Um, like position well, position yeah what do you mean haven't you ever noticed that like every um royal knight faction has a captain and a vice captain mm -hmm. you notice you've never seen the one of the black bulls there's a vice captain hmm. ah it's asta it's not it's definitely not bruh it should be you remember that thing i was talking about Oh, what? Really? Hmm. No wonder he kept them separate for so long. Be too OP. Mm hmm. You have no you fucking have idea. No idea. <laughs> Man, it's like whenever they take Aizawa out of the fight, it just makes sense for the story. Well, he was like on him. Like he was doing shit. Yeah, no, he was doing shit. He was doing a lot of shit. Yeah. And it makes sense when, like, they do finally reveal him. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, I get it. What? And Nami, Yami just, like, pooping this whole time yep how'd you know i want to tell him and just be I like know. that's what you that's like what you this fucking point. get bro <laughs> he'll pick it up eventually you're why i stopped i'm me i'm the reason why because you wanted me to watch the anime with you and then the Instead anime of fucking... reading it, and then the anime went on hiatus because of COVID. And now, and and, and now then, this... and then it took forever, and you pick up the manga. But at that point, it had been like two years. And I, I'm telling, and we have every bit of the manga that you need at your disposal. I know. Pick it up. You know, next time, next time you and uh, the bunny lord have pillow talk, just sit there and read, it, bro. She would punch me. <laughs> she would throw your manga. Face the other way and just have it like this. Well, it doesn't have the glow of a phone. Fuck. 
Not a bad there idea. You there you go. Dang. Oh. oh, I could put it. I could. You know what? I'm gonna get one of those little things to like hold magazines and books and stuff for the bathroom. Boom. Put Dude, uh, yeah, that's I'll, where I'll you need it while it. I'm using the bathroom. I love that. I love that. I'm just like yummy yeah, one. <laughs> you guys could also. You know what you could do with it? Hmm. You could also watch uh, the video episode of this podcast on YouTube. Comes out every Thursday. <laughs> you guys don't like the video. You guys could check out the audio on Spotify, Google Podcast, and Apple Podcast every Wednesday. Drops at nine thirty Central Pacific time. Uh, make sure if you guys want to check out our uh, Discord, if you guys want to tune into Anime Nights and join in with those live, or you can help support us for only three dollars, and you guys can actually get access to listening to the podcast live with us. Um, make sure you guys check out my TikTok, MV Oro, and then make sure you guys check out Grish Mataro. We do have a TikTok for the Anime Alchemist podcast. Make sure you guys tune in and check that out as well. I believe that is all it. Alchemist out. Alchemist out. Alchemist out.